The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. I know that chart was just a little incomplete. I forgot to change this uh, display settings on it. I'll send it in a little bit here. Just give me just a second here. I'm going to start the show today. Yesterday, of course, was Chinese New Year, and we went out with some of our Chinese friends here in uh, Tucson, and we had a really wonderful time. Uh, but uh, he was able, uh, Mr. MT was able to tell me a wonderful parable about the Chinese New Year's. These three gentlemen, all holy men, were going from Hong Kong to New York City. On the, on this, the one that was sitting on the aisle was a rabbi. In between him was a, a Tibetan monk, and in the, on the side of the window was the uh, Catholic priest. And the, the uh, rabbi said to the Catholic priest, he said, Father, he said, I've always wondered. He, or the Catholic, excuse me, I got this screwed up already. <laughs> the Catholic priest asked to the rabbi, he said, have you ever had, uh, you know, pork? And the rabbi said, unfortunately, one time I did, I had a ham sandwich. There's a pause. He said, well, how was the ham sandwich? He said, it was okay. A few minutes goes by, and the rabbi says to the Catholic priest, he said, uh, Father, he said, have you ever, I know you have celibacy in your program and stuff, but you ever, have you ever wavered from that? The Catholic priest says, yes, sir. He said, I certainly have. I did one time when I was young. And pause goes by, and the rabbi said, well, how was it? And the father said, it was certainly better than that ham sandwich. And you might ask, what is the meaning of this with the Tibetan person in the middle there? Well... I was told by my lovely bride that you better put something in this thing or you're going to be charged for being a woke person, so I don't want to be a woke person. And that's why we put in the Tibetan monk. Let's talk about the markets, folks. Today, <laughs> I, 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 don't, I can't make this stuff up. I put a chart up of the DAX, as you can see. You'll notice this pattern here. That's known as a 222 pattern, folks. And you never guess what today is. 222, February 22nd. My daughter called me at 5.30 this morning to remind me because she, she had all of these things on the, the um, uh, 222 patterns all over the refrigerator when she was little, when she cut out the little diagrams and stuff. And uh, we laughed about that. And I didn't realize today was 222. And I have not seen this many this many 222 two, two patterns since I have been doing this for such a very, very long time. Uh, I did post a chart. I posted it just a second ago. This is the one from the DAX, the German DAX. I've got a lot to post, so bear with me here. There's the 222 pattern, uh, and we'll be able to look at that as we go through uh, looking at these things. I called the, the Gartley pattern when I found it, you know, back in 1970. Uh, middle, hold on just a minute. I'm getting Skype message or uh, okay, thank you. All right, uh, let's get through a few charts here because he, there's so many of them here that it, it is really quite uh, it's really quite amazing. These these are the ones that come across from uh, our friends over in the uh, UK. Here is another two two pattern here. This is the one in the SPX cash. You can see the 61 percent retracement there. I mean, and look, I, that's A B C D. It's all this stuff. But you know, the fact that it's here on February 22nd, I mean, it's just literally, it just blows me away. It's one day past the Chinese New Year's, which was the new moon. So, I mean, last night, folks, I've been up most of the. Well, I've been up all night because of the action we were having in the uh, S and P and some of the other things, and also in the crude oil. But uh, the main thing was is that uh, the many things have happened. Happened, uh, going on for chart patterns that we've been waiting for for a very, very long time. Now, the next one we're going to look at is not a, a 222 pattern, but it's a, it's a very important pattern because we call that a three drive to a top pattern. And all I have to do now is find it. I, you know what? I, this is ridiculous. It was right there in front of me, and I can't find it now. That's not fair. 
Well, I will find it. I, it's got to be here somewhere. Well, I'll go through the rest of them, and then I'll post it. Well, I will post the one. Oh, here it is right there in front of me. Here, we, We've been talking about this for three days, folks. We said Wednesday was the day. There was your there was your action in the in the crude oil. I sent this out before it happened. Uh, you know, I, I put that price in there. That was part of that total ABCD. That's where the ABCD ends at 89.71. The high was, folks, 89.79, and uh, we we backed off a little bit from that level here. Now, I, whether this works or not, I don't know. But look at the symmetry that you have here. I mean, it's just absolutely a perfect symmetry. Now, if that goes above that. That's going to break. That's God damn. Uh, hold on just a second here. Uh, Mr. Z is saying ES uh, today. Yes, I'll cover the ES in just a minute, uh, Mr. Z. Uh, I have. Uh, I'll do the best I can to cover that. But there's so many of these that they're they're just spot on today. I mean, I, it's just and here it is on February 22nd. Anyway, this is the uh, this is the crude. We backed off two dollars a barrel already on the crude. So you know you're basically in a risk-free situation in that. And so uh, whether it's going to go up or down from here, I don't know. But you're in a risk-free situation now. There's just no way you want to give any of that back. But we want to look at some of these others. They're everywhere, folks. I mean, we saw it in the German DAX. I mean, you see it in the FTSE. And, uh, and they're, they're just uh, they're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're everywhere. So that's the main thing. The reason why I was up so much last night was because of the buy signal that I triggered for all of our 20 uh, 24-7 people uh, in Google. Uh, we, I hardly ever trade stocks, but this one was such a good one. I had to put it up here. We got the buy in there at about 2680 uh, is when we said, and then we said to sell it up here at 3050. Well, if you believe that, you must be a relative of somebody on that airplane that uh, didn't get all the messages put out because that is my uh, rendition of a uh, trading joke. Let's call it that way. I mean, how do you how do you how do you handle something like that, folks? I mean, I heard on the news today on Bloomberg somebody actually believed that once it split twenty to one, they had twenty times the amount of of uh, stock that they had. Folks, that's just you know they're just cutting it in half so people can pay for it you know easier. That's basically it. And remember, reverse split like we had with. Uh, uh, Citicorp, and I think we had another one that was real. Ford uh, had a reverse split once too. That's get to get to get back into the room because some of these people can't in these funds can't buy anything under five dollars a share, so that they do a reverse split. Uh, I happen to know that uh, the AIG also had a reverse split of twenty to one because the stock went from ninety two all the way down to to fifth uh, thirty six cents. And I happened to be uh, the story I met. I was that's when I met Sarah. It was in October of '07, and her mother was passing away, and she was driving. She was going back on a plane to Canada, and we happened to be on the same plane into Dorita. And I was uh, very attracted to her, as you can possibly imagine. And so we sat in there, and I showed the website, and I showed the pattern. She asked about AIG, and so I said, "Well, let me take a look at it." And it looked just like crude oil, folks. Exactly like crude oil did today that's exactly what it looked like and i said i would really sell this stock and she said well i've been thinking about it anyway so she sold it within a half point and it went to 36 cents from 92 to 36 cents and she did say thank you because she married me 877-927-6648 billy ray valentine You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, this is another uh, 2 2 2 pattern. This is the E mini SP from the high we made back there in January. There at uh, 40, uh, uh, 4,800, we came down to uh, 4,200. The high in this thing last night was, I believe, 85 or 89. I was watching it some of the time that I dozed off, but it stayed right at that 4571 for a great deal of time. This is an hourly chart. We're now uh, considerably below that, but that's a little early in the day. But uh, it did make that. I mean, that was just really, uh, you know, spot on amazing to me. I couldn't believe it. Uh, you know, the, the 222 means so much to me, folks, that I, I've used it all the time. I called it a Gartley 222. And uh, when I went to Italy in 1988 to visit uh, one of my uh, relatives uh, and also uh, uh, the Catholic Church through uh, Sister Estelle, I spent a week there. Uh, well, I spent a week in, in uh, Florence and a week in Rome, and uh, it was really great. But one of my students was there, and he has a, uh, he was a, uh, what do you call he, he was a tailor, professional tailor. And uh, he's, uh, he, he supplied me with shirts, shirts for many years until he passed away. Luigi was he's just a great guy. But uh, it's really funny. I can tell you this story here because I'm trying to kill some time. If you look at this here on, the shirt, on my shirt, you'll be able to see the 222 on the shirt, I think. Okay. There's a little 222, and then there's one on the thing here. But anyway, what, what's so funny about this is that uh, it, I was in Las Vegas with Gary Tilkin. Uh, he was one of the Forex bankers for uh, GFT Forex. And uh, I, uh, we were sitting at a blackjack table, and I had a white shirt on, and it had French cuffs, and I had the 222 on the uh, monogram. And this little young lady was trying to hustle Gary and uh, she said to me, she said, uh, well, what does the 222 stand for? And I said, well, I said, uh, remember, this is 1995, I think. 
yeah, 1995. And I told her, I said, well, 222, I said, I sold my startup company for 222 for $222 a share. And she said to me, wow, she says, that's pretty interesting. You think you could uh, spend some time and tell me more about it? <laughs> Gary almost fell off the chair. Anyway, that's what it is. It's That's what it's all about. I'm only about half here today, boys and girls, so bear with me. But this is really important stuff. I'm going to get back into the program here to cover it. Not just that, but I want you to do this yourself. This is the Dow Jones Industrial Average, okay? I want you to take a look at it. Let me get up. I did this I did this yesterday. Long, ah, shut the front door and raise the rent here. One second here, one second, one second, one second, one second. Let's get moving here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I missed it here. All right, there we go. Here is the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Now, this was done before all this hoopla, okay? Now, this is the actual index. The, the number of the 61% retracement, and that's the Gartley, there's the ABCD, the number on that, six, on that number is 35,500. I don't know what the high was in the index today. The last time I checked it was uh, yesterday, long before this happened, and I had it at 35,405. Would someone be kind enough to tell me what has been the high in that index today? Because that's pretty good. You know, that's very, very, uh, very, very important. All of these are just really uh, super important today. Because if this market closes really strong above all these numbers, boy, we're going to really rock and roll. We're going to take those highs out like they didn't even exist. So you've got to be very, very careful here if you're uh, into the short situation. You've, if you followed what we were looking at, you know, it was right there near the highs. If you look at the, uh, the YM, uh, here is the YM. I updated this one today. Ah, shut the front door and raise the rent. I keep hitting the wrong buttons, boys and girls. Been doing that all my life. Hold on here. We'll just get up here to take a quick look at this one right here. And there it is right there at the hit the exact numbers folks i mean to the tick 35,374 no it's still close to that right now so we can easily close above that and if we do then you're looking at something that's you know really really pretty exciting okay now we have to get back to the old uh teaching mode and i will try to do that uh, we had an interesting inter a quick question about trailing stops. They asked if I use trailing stops, and the answer to that is, yeah, I sure do. And what I try to do is if you look at this, uh, you'll see the where it says the, the long bar. You can see that really long bar there. Let's say you, you bought it down here. Uh, at the bottom, which was the ABCD down there at 385 in natural gas. And you do that. All you do is you put your stop 78, well, 78.6% lower than that high so if that market reverses you're going to get stopped out until that happens you let it run now you see the next long bar that you have here that's when you raise your stop and if you do that you know you're going to be able to catch most of these moves if you can do that now, sometimes they work sometimes they don't but this was the principle that uh uh, Amos Hostetter used. I mean, this was the breakout system, basically what they did at uh, Commodity Corporation. When the market broke out, boom, that was it. Do you, I, I met I met uh, Amos twice, and I, I can tell you this. You know, we didn't have these charts and stuff like this, these stuff coming in back in the, the, the 70s, and, and that didn't happen until 1983, 1984. So, all he did was he had ticker tapes and he had a girl that actually did the stuff that I did at home. And that is watch the ticker tapes. When you saw new highs and new lows, you mark those up and he did that. But he didn't do it. He had somebody else doing it. And then he would look at it and she would plot it. And that, that's what he did. I mean, that's what that's what I did. I mean, he did it a lot better than me. But but that that's that's what I did. And, and if you watch those really wide ranging bars and put your stop. 75% lower or 78.6 cents lower than that, you're going to be better off. And that's that's what we're looking at. The second question that someone asked me was, you know, why don't I trade things like uh, the Canadian dollar? Well, I do trade the Canadian dollar maybe once or twice a year, but I'm trading the euro and the pound and the yen. You know, I, euro and pound, I trade almost all the time. 
But the you know and but the Canadian I don't, I don't trade it that often. I, I trade the Australian dollar a lot more than I trade the Canadian because the Australian dollar is related to the commodities. And I look at volatility. That's why. So he had a beautiful pattern in the Canadian dollar, and I think it's great. And uh, you know, go for it. Uh, that's that's pretty much uh, what you want to be. Uh, what you want to be doing. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648, uh, and we'll be able to uh, do that. I've got some other things to share you with, with you here, so let's do that. I, Stan was supposed to be our guest today, but frankly, with the markets as volatile as they are, I, I don't expect him uh, you know, to be, uh, be our guest today, unfortunately, but uh, that's... Uh, that's neither nothing we can do about that. Uh, okay, now here is the, here's what I want you to see here. This is what I was focusing on last night, folks. Why I spent so much time looking at this. This is the chart we got from uh, our good friend, Mr. Alan Smith over there in the, in the, across the pond. You notice we have that perfect 382 there at 14,970. And folks, this market went absolutely ballistic. But check the high in the NASDAQ because I believe it was very, very close to the 50% level of that last swing. And uh, that would be really, really important if that were the case because it's 61 of the other. We're going to be right back. 877-927-6648. The high in the NASDAQ, please. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, uh, I had a question from someone here in the den, and that was, was I scared to put that order in on the crude oil? I put it in last night, uh, or late in the afternoon, uh, up there at that 89.71 level. And the answer to that was, no, I was not scared. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you what fear is. January 1991, uh, we were getting ready to go to war. It was a new moon uh, because the Navy SEALs attack at the darkness of the moon from Lao Tso. Uh, General uh, well, Schwarzkopf was a firm believer from the, you know, being in the Army. He certainly had that book on his desk. And uh, so the Navy SEALs attacked at the, the darkness of the full moon, so I, or the new moon, so I knew it was going to probably be that night. And I had shorted it on a pattern just like this. I mean, it was just spot on. At 4 o'clock in the afternoon, I went to get my hair cut there in the San Luis Obispo, and I was watching TV. And uh, some I forget what it was on, some uh, call. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember what it was. Anyway, Jill called the, the, the hairdresser that we knew, and she said, Larry, it's your daughter. And I said, hi, what's going on? She's dead. She said, are you still short the crude oil? And I said, yeah. She said, oh, dad. She says, don't lose your jade job because you're going to lose your kabuki. And I said, what's wrong? And she says, turn on the news. And so I asked him to turn on CNN, and there it was, man. It was right after four, and they were lighting up downtown Baghdad. Just, you know, incredible. So I said, oh, boy, here we go again. So I, I did. I had a couple contracts on, so it was, it was a big deal. But, you know, so I go back home and I start calling the overnight desk at Drexel because uh, we didn't have an overnight Drex uh, where I was trading at. They, 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 we didn't have any overnight trading, but Drexel had a lot of it. And so I knew those guys were watching the markets. And I kept calling and calling. The line was busy, busy, busy. I mean, this is for hours. And it was a state. Uh, they were having a some type of a f function at the university, uh, Cal Poly University, that I had to go to for an hour. I got back at about 8 o'clock. Uh oh, hold on. Do we have Stan on the line? I probably do. I messed probably messed up. Uh, oh, we've got a question. Uh, Bob has got a question about the Q, uh, NQs. Are you there, Bob? Yes, I'm here, Larry. Good morning. Good morning. What can I help you with, my friend? Well, I noticed <clears throat> on your chart you were mentioning that last night the high on the NQ was uh, 15,002. 150 around there, and it was uh, the pretty much the 50 percent line. Uh -huh. And my question is, um, in, it, it seems to me, in my experience, uh, instead of shorting that 15 uh, that 50 percent line, oftentimes the 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 stock or the index or whatever it is would would continue on to reach the 0.618. At fifteen thousand four hundred, yes, seems often that it it goes right through the fifty percent line. But on the way down, it oftentimes seems like there is a support level there. So uh, that's my question, and I was wondering okay. if you've noticed that too. Do you actually trade more off the fifty percent line, or just? No. I don't know. I use 618. That's why I was watching the E-mini S&P because it was trading around that uh, 4571, which was the 61 of the whole move. But I was watching the NASDAQ because of what was happening with Google. I wanted to see how high they, they could get it because it was so emotional. That was the reason why I was watching it. That that yeah, was what I wanted uh, okay, to know. Okay, but you don't trade the fifty percent line very often. No, then. The only, yes, you I, I'll trade it if I have an A B C D at a fifty percent. I'll I'll trade I'll trade an A B C D off any percentage, because A B C D is what the market does. I mean, that's the thing from Mandelbrot, the fractal yeah, sure. that makes this stuff work. If you if you ever seen the floor traders handbook, you'll know that it's right there. It proves with emphatically with thirty thousand samples, this damn thing works, and it gives you you know payouts better. Better than three to one, and you you hit sixty two percent of the trade. So I'll trade an ABCD all night long. Yep, yep, very good. Well, that was my question. So thanks for all you do, and uh, well, thank you we'll so much. I, you I appreciate the kind words, Bob. Okay, see you, you later. Bet. Okay, all right. Getting back to the uh, story. Well, I I went. I finally got through. 
it was about 10 o'clock at night I got through to him and I you know I knew these guys I'd given them gifts and helped them with parties and stuff and they always treated me nicely and I said Maury I said what the hell's going on he said oh Larry he said I've been on the line I've been on the line for five hours I said that's a lot of calls he said no Larry he said that's one call he said I was on with one one trader one of our largest ones I said what's going on I said uh, I said where uh, you know because I was short the uh, crude oil and I was also short gold had the same pattern so i figured i said uh i said where's uh, i said where's gold and he said oh he says it's limit down i said what he said in a war he said yeah it's a limit down he said it's it's it's, it's offered limit down there's no trading for the last two or three hours and i said where's crude oil he said nobody knows and i says what do you mean nobody knows you know, and the fact was, well, there was no bids. It was eight, nine, ten. It opened eleven dollars lower and went from forty-four to eleven. And we have our good friend Stan Harley on the line. Stan, how are you today? Actually, this is Tim Balls. Hello. <laughs> God, that's what happens when you stay up all night. <laughs> I know Stan, and he's a great guy. I can't pretend I know, to be him. He's though. A great, you're, you're a great guy too. I knew I had one of you guys out for the day. <laughs> I, you know, I, we, we have a technical mayhem over here, too, so... Uh, oh, God, Jim. Uh, Jim good, take good to connect with you, my friend. Let me, get, let, me get, <laughs> let me get a rope and just... <laughs> anyway, if you'll be so kind as take over and save me, throw me a life raft, okay? We'll, we'll do our best here. <laughs> I, actually, I, 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 do, do you have the slides that I sent earlier? I, I think they have the slides. Uh, Al, tell me you got the slides. Make me a happy camper. Okay. Because if you don't, I can do it. I, I, I know I can do it. I because I didn't see the slides. If I would have saw, ah, nope, I don't have any slides. You don't have so, any slides. Well, I, I don't have uh, one from my end either, so we'll just wing in here. That? Okay, that sounds good. Hold on one second here. Okay. Uh, nope, we don't have any slides. So what, you know, this is good. We'll take a little break here to yeah. uh, just tell the folks what you're seeing here with all this volatility, and we have... Let's, let's talk problem. generally speaking yeah. here. Uh, we, we, have, we have brilliant illustrations, but you're not going to see them. <laughs> 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 no, what we got going on here this week is a very, very interesting uh, transition point. Uh, we are confronting the end of a Mercury retrograde cycle that has been in play uh, since the 14th of uh, January. And uh, as you recall... Uh, what happened was we uh, shut down the markets on Friday, January the 14th, uh, and had a little extended weekend there uh, for the Martin Luther King holiday. Uh, so the markets did not reopen until the 18th. So we had a three-day weekend. And uh, that's when we began to see some of this uh, sharp volatility kicking in, big sell-offs and all kinds of uh, wild and crazy stuff going on in the markets. Uh, that's been happening pretty much uh, throughout uh, this last three-week period. Uh, and during this entire time, our friend Mercury has been in retrograde motion, uh, which always tends to uh, uh, scramble communications uh, and uh, other dynamics in, in the markets. And so, uh, we, hey, we, have to pay a few, we have to pay a few bills. Could you okay. stay with us, Tim? We'll, we'll chat more when we come back. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Tim Boss, folks, Financial Cycles Weekly, lifeguard of the... Oh. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. 
With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, with uh, TFNN, also known as the Laurel and Hardy Show. <laughs> and Laurel is telling Mr. Hardy, who happens to be Tim Boss, to please continue. If there was ever my, a place for the revival of slapstick comedy, this is it. <laughs> this will be <laughs> my last. This will be my last day at TFNN after 15 years. <laughs> I'll stop staying up all night. Go ahead, my friend. Please continue. Well, <laughs> uh, there was a scene with Laurel and Hardy in a rowboat or something that maybe we can try that next i don't know well it's probably <laughs> leaking it might be mine go ahead exactly. <laughs> no what we were chatting about here is the fact that we've had mercury uh, in retrograde motion for the last uh, uh, three weeks here and it's been um, creating all kinds of havoc in the markets we're hoping that's going to come to an end here uh, actually tomorrow on the third of february uh, this will be late in the evening, New York time, just before midnight. Uh, we'll have a Mercury returning to a direct motion. So Friday will be our first uh, full trading day with Mercury back in direct motion. Uh, and uh, typically uh, what we like to do is, is uh, throw a party, <laughs> you know, celebrate a little bit when we get out of this Mercury retrograde phase because it can uh, create so many uh, uh, points of consternation along along the way, uh, but uh, the fact of the matter is that this is actually the most treacherous part of the entire Mercury retrograde cycle. Uh, it's been moving uh, backwards, at, at least in terms of our uh, our perspective from here on Earth, our optical illusion, if it were, uh, as you will, uh, but so uh, what's uh, going on with it is that we've got uh, uh, a slowing down period and is starting to try to move forward again. And it's kind of like you're trying to push a car uphill in the snow <laughs> that has stalled out. <laughs> and uh, A lot of the country is uh, un under uh, a, a snowfall and, and uh, dealing with situations like that, trying to get cars out of ditches. Uh, you know, you get two or three guys and you put the car in neutral and, and you try to push it and it's a huge, huge lift trying to get going again. Uh, once you get it rolling a little bit, uh, then you can uh, uh, give it an extra heave-ho and, and maybe you can roll and, and pop the clutch or whatever and get the thing going again. <laughs> but uh, that initial inertia is what we're dealing with right now in the markets as Mercury tries to get back into forward motion. Uh, and so that creates a very, very uh, challenging situation for traders. Uh, we expect to see continuation of the volatility, uh, at least through the end of this week and probably into the middle of next week as well, uh, as we begin 
to move uh, forward with this mercury uh, process here. Uh, and so uh, we're trying to push the car, trying to get it going a little bit. <laughs> but uh, uh, right now, it's, it's a little bit of a frustrating situation. Tim, I have a question uh, for one of our listeners, and that is on this mercury. Uh, this is mercury uh, at a, uh, a certain station now. Is that correct? Right, exactly. We have two okay. stations. Uh, one is what we call the retrograde station, uh, which uh -huh. is uh, Mercury typically goes in, in direct motion or forward motion through the uh, positions in the zodiac. Uh, uh, when it starts to slow down and then stop and, and begins to move backwards, we call that the retrograde station. That's what happened back on the 14th of January. And now today, yeah. or, or rather uh, uh, coming up tomorrow night, we have the uh, direct station. It has been retrograde, and now it's going back into direct motion or forward motion again. Okay. Uh, so we mark these two key points in the Mercury cycle. There are other things that we observe, but these are the dominant ones that we pay attention to. Uh, and this is, we typically see some perturbations in the market. Okay, now the question he's asking, is it is this an 88-day cycle that you're looking at? Because, you know, people, when they hear the word mercury, they get panicked, but it's actually, you know, it has an 88-day, it goes around every 88 days, right. correct? Now, now, mercury orbits the sun every 88 days, but this is a little yeah. different phenomenon because we're looking at it from the Earth's perspective. Uh, this okay. is a 21-22 day period, uh, typically, uh, when mercury goes into its retrograde uh, motion as seen from the Earth's uh, uh, perspective. Uh, now, that, that happens three times a year, so it's not an unfamiliar uh, kind of thing, uh, but we get these periods about 21 days or so, uh, roughly three weeks each time that Mercury goes uh, retrograde. This is independent of its 88-day uh, cycle around the sun uh, because we're dealing with the observational perspective of the Earth here. Uh, so we get these fairly frequently. It's about 17, 18 percent of the time we have Mercury in retrograde motion and we have to kind of make adjustments in terms of our uh, analysis of the markets and our trading strategies as well. OK, listen, Tim, um, I'm going to have you on next week, if that's OK, with who's we can go over. This is such an important time. And I, you know, I caught you by surprise. I caught myself by surprise. Yeah, so well, let, we're all surprised, and we like yeah, that. Yeah, well, that's true. Surprise is good. <laughs> Let, let's have you on Monday, and so we can look at some of these wonderful charts. Because I really believe that Mercury thing, especially coming in, you know, one day after the Chinese year, which was a new moon, moon and stuff. So, could we have you on Monday and maybe give us a rerun yeah, we, of what we're doing we'll, right we'll now? We'll because take a shot of that that'll be uh, yeah. the seventh there. Uh, yeah, and can, by, uh, by then, uh, by then I'll be awake, hopefully, and then we oh, can do a better okay. show. Good, make good that sound over the weekend at least. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, All right, my friend. It's always a pleasure to connect. God and, bless you, Tim. So, uh, stay you, uh, safe. You, me, Laurel, okay. and Hardy will all get the job done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Okay. All right, folks, let's get back to some of these things that I need to talk about here. And guess what? I think I just messed up and I got knocked out of the den. Yeah. Nope, I'm okay here. Have any questions, folks? Please don't call 877-927-6648. Let's talk about something really important here, folks. Uh, this is a natural gas. And uh, we have been rocking and rolling here this morning. Uh, if you take a look at this. You'll see here that the natural gas also has completed that big ABCD. The 61% retracement held it for about an hour and a half, and we popped up above it, up around uh, just around 5.48 or something like that. The important part of this, folks, is where it closes today. Now, there's a perfect example of, of a trailing stop. You can see if you bought this yesterday on the breakout, okay, that would have been at uh, 4.95. You just look at that range there. Okay, the range is from right now. It's from five four five down to four nine five. So that's a five thousand dollar range. Well, you take uh, eighty percent of that and you put your stop on a trailing stop. You'd put it down around around five zero one five zero two. And the reason for that is if that market gives all of that back, you're in big trouble. Now let me show you why that works. Go back and look at this on the tenth of the month in January. You see that big breakout move? Look what happened the next day. You see how if you'd have put your stop in there at 80% of that, you would have got out with some profit and then it goes all the way back down. It drops another, you know, $8,000 to get down to the uh, 36 level. So that's how you handle that. When you have a wide ranging bar, take 80% of that 
and uh, put your stop there and your break even. Now, you're not going to get all the stuff. You know, there's only one person that gets the exact high and the exact low. Those are the guys on you see on Bloomberg and CNBC and also God. But God doesn't trade. She told us already that she doesn't trade. So you're never going to get the highs and lows very often. If you do, it's an accident. You know, the, that crude oil trade was an accident. All, all we did on the crude oil trade is we took the last three days action, okay? And we measured what would be an expansion of the last three days, and that came in at 89.70. And that's where you put the, if it goes above that 1.618, we know that it's no good. That's the, the whole premise of uh, what we're doing uh, with these things. There's no, no, well, that's what we're looking at. 877-927-6648. Be right back, folks, with Flip Wilson as our guest. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Target First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, I posted a chart that I've been looking at for the last uh, couple of weeks. This is this uh, crude or uh, the Dow Jones when it was back, way back in the COVID thing. You see COVID hit, we broke, we rallied up to a 50% retracement on a four or five day pattern there. I thought that's what we were going to do here on Monday, but uh, we've extended it out to possibly seven days. This is really important, folks, because if the market would close lower today, uh, it would really be quite significant. It would tell that this market, uh, something happened, and it's very important. And if it closes really strong, heck, it could go up forever. 
So that's the main thing to want to look at. But that's what you can see these wild swings that we had. This was, you know, these were three and four thousand point swings in the uh, uh, Dow Jones. So that's not unusual. You can see we've we've had a huge rally already. Uh, but the fact that it stopped exactly at those numbers, I mean, that, that's really hard to do when it did it in the S&P, the NASDAQ, the Russell, every single one of them. I mean, that's, uh, that's the main thing. And it, it was all related to what was happening with the uh, uh, you know, Google and, and the NASDAQ, because the NASDAQ went absolutely, uh, you know, crazy to the upside. I've seldom trade at NASDAQ. Uh, it's a great thing to trade, but I seldom. I use the S&P uh, and the Dow Jones and the Russell once in a while. That's uh, pretty much what we're looking at here. So uh, we will have, I believe, Stan Harley will be our guest tomorrow. And Friday will be Jeff Huge. I believe that's correct. I will check the calendar later. I want to apologize for, <laughs> for being... I'm just tired, folks. That's basically it. And uh, anyway, that's it. Oh, the sequel to that story on that day in uh, January, it was my single best money day on a percentage basis. Uh, that I ever had. I had bigger, much bigger days when I was uh, in the when I was a player at Drexel. We had days of half a million dollars, but this was my biggest single day that I ever had. I was short gold. I was short crude oil, and along the S and P, and the S and P left a gap that's still never been filled. That we didn't have overnight trading. And uh, that, and what I did was, at the end of the day, I closed everything out, and that was the dumbest thing I ever did. I should have used a Tom Hugard approach and doubled up on everything because crude oil went to eleven dollars. <laughs> hey, let's get back together tomorrow, boys and girls. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. <laughs> <laughs>